Hi everyone. So Farm Brearport now is not what it used to be. People, a lot of aviation companies around here because they like having Farnborough on their postal address because people still associate with that kind with of aviation, research and development yeah. all that kind of thing. But there's a plane coming again. There's another one. Another We've got one. Another one. Hey! Before it was rudely interrupted by a plane, which is another thing, oh yeah, before it was rudely interrupted by that plane, this airport can only open 10 till 7, I think, is 9 till right? 7, yeah, because people around here moan. When this airport was built, this was a barren wasteland of fields, yeah? People who live around airports, who move around the airport, they moan about the noise. What is wrong with you, idiots? But well, they anyway, want to get into London. They want to get to London, but yeah, but you wreck it on that industry. You can't, probably why they can't go, do the trials research because people moan about it. Stop developing stuff that's good for the country. They'll just moan. What was it doing before that though? You're talking about the airfield. So Farm Airport now, in the 1990s, got sold off as a research development. That then became Kinetic U. Kinetic. Kinetic and all that kind of stuff. They probably do it all somewhere on computer. They're still here. They're they'll still, have a little, still here. I think they own some of the wind tunnels here from the RAE that that's are still around. It. So there's a bit of research development going off around here, but mostly now the main airfield is, is private jet. So when I worked here, it was, we did the big Gooch Angers, which I'll probably cut some B-roll off now that you can see. We did them, and we did the control tower. Farnborough Airport now, it was sold off by the Royal Aircraft Establishment in the 1990s. Or oh, the Defence Research Agency, Yeah, whichever, like whatever that. flavour it was that week. And now it's owned by Tag Aviation, so there's three Gooch Angers, they're building more Angers. It's a centre for private business travel. We're about what, how far are we from London here? Well, on the train it's like half an hour, 40 yeah, minutes. Yeah, on the helicopter it's about 10, so a lot of celebrities fly to here, rich people, posh people, people that wear above my postcode. You can fly to here, get picked up at your plane, drove to a helicopter and be in central in about 10 minutes, so that's its bag now. When I worked here, we built the hangars and the aircraft control tower. Since then they've built a really cool, probably the most futuristic, cool looking, it's probably the most futuristic, cool looking, and ageless airport I've ever seen because yeah. I worked here 10 years ago it doesn't look any older it still looks good now it looks good I mean, now it's been used in films like yeah. Inception, Inception yeah. it's in the Inception although they never came in it's all green screen but I'll maybe link to that and Quantum of Solace James Bond Daniel Craig yeah. the reception desk in there is actually that so yeah so it's a, it's a really good little bit of infrastructure and it's, it's making money out of what it's designed for which is nice I think it's nice that it's still making money out of aviation they've not built houses on it yeah, which like are building a lot else. around here yeah it's all around it, so they'll probably just build more houses around here until people moan about it enough that they close the entire airport down. Then there'll be nothing around here. Which is a common theme, you know. Um, Woodford near Manchester used to build Vulcan, um, Nimrod, and that's all been closed and, and turned into houses now. Do we now. make any aircraft anymore? Yeah, Eurofighter at Walton. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't forget that. Eurofighter at Walton. The, make, the, make bits for the F 35. We make bits for the F 35, but we don't make enough bits to make it, do we? No. Europe. Is there any more we can say about the history of this? Because we, we've sort of glossed over the early history. We went into Samuel Cody, um, dirigible, uh, the dirigible, so the airship, um, which was then turned into British that. Army aeroplane number one. Um, and they had to, they had to really, they had to fight. And there were certain innovation innovators in the British Army that that, that pushed for this. It, you know, it isn't easy to get a new idea into an old institution. You'll, I. Uh, you'll probably find that I don't really know, but I imagine you still find that in big organisations like that that you ha that certain individuals will push. They'll see the value in something, and they will drive it. So for uh, back then, it was balloons, kites, which were used in the Boer War, uh, and and then aircraft. Remember uh, they when they started bombing? I do believe when they started bombing people from planes, they said it won't last long because it's so ungentlemanly. Mm. So yeah, so they would have developed some bombs and stuff here. But yeah, so it, so it's here because the British Army was based nearby uh, at Aldershot, um, which is the first British Army standing camp, I believe. Um, it's not that old, but it was the first purpose, uh, purposely located British Army training area. So they congregated here. They then tried building balloons here based on what they'd seen in the, the, the US Civil War. And then they needed more space, so they came here. They set up that, um, uh, they did a, they, Balloons, kites, set up an aircraft factory in the First World War. Okay, maybe the best planes didn't come uh, come out of here. That's up for argument. Uh, give us your opinions on whether this place actually produced any good planes itself. Um, but it became a factory, and then you had that centre of excellence right up to the 1990s. And then it is um, it is possible that there's still really good 
aviation stuff going off around here that we just don't know about. Yeah, perhaps. There's probably really cool stuff going off around here that we don't know about. There's a lot of engineers all over the UK that people go, we don't make anything anymore, but we do make a lot of things, but we tend to be at the really high level of stuff. And engineers don't talk about what they do, and that needs that does need drawing out through those strong characters we've already mentioned. I think I'm the Cody of being an electrician. You reckon? Yeah, I'm Are a you, create, you need a hat. I'm a zany you crazy a character. Crazy I, no, I need a revolver. Yeehaw. Then we won't be on this location as well as a place where we shot on spotters. Yeah. So one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to show these interesting places, show these, these cool stories. So what we're trying to, we're going round, we're looking at these these interesting places and we're trying to draw out those those interesting stories to get people engaged and interested both in the in the world around them, what's going on in their local area, and bring out those stories that people don't really know about. Because there might be ideas that, that we, we find that we can that we can showcase and someone might find a better use for. And who knows where we'll be next week? Yeah. Because we don't. No. We've got a clue. <laughs> so see. We'll have some we'll have a search on Google Earth. And we'll see have a look what on Google Earth so we'll find. If you have no anywhere interesting that we is in the between our two home locations, we won't give away, tell us and we'll go there. Definitely, yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Cheers for watching. I don't think um, any other YouTubers need to worry about this. No. <laughs>